Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Oracle reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. I have my Wisdom of the Oracle cards and I have my Cleansing Crystal on top to cleanse the deck. So let's get started. All right. So we have current situation, we have round and round. And what is that being crossed by? We have co-create. What do you need to focus on? We have to the sea. What are you leaving behind? Soulmates. What are your strengths? We have flexible. Near future, we have here and now. Advice, we have exchanging gifts environment message in a bottle hopes and fears we have treasure island and potential outcome we have chaos and conflict and i feel like one more we have come to the edge and then overall energy we have regeneration so I kind of feel like this is what you're in right now is kind of like that red kind of lava kind of um, molten. I just feel like there's a lot of like, like, but the thing about that, which is coming to mind is that with something being really hot, it's like, you know, with metal or steel or with molten lava, it's free flowing when it's hot. And then when it gets cold, it forms into something that is not free flowing. And I feel like the thing that you have to positive that you have to focus on is that even though you have all of this turmoil or whatever's going on right now, is that it's free flowing and that you're not stuck in something. And it's like you have the ability to transform and to change things. And to not be stuck in one place because like the lava when it comes out of a volcano it flows down the mountain and then it stops on land or it goes in the water and so it's moving it's moving from its original place and i feel like that's what you need to keep in mind here because we have with the current situation we have round and round and i feel like you're going around and around with something like you're either within yourself you keep focusing and you keep going back to something or it could be within a relationship that you're going round and round and I feel like that is affecting your f freedom of expression because I feel like this co-create here I feel like it's it's affecting your freedom of expression and it's your ability to flow and I feel like it's holding you back. It's stopping you. It's like putting up this blockade because you keep going around in a circle. So you keep repeating things and you keep doing the same things over and over. And it's like, that's what you have to recognize. That's what you have to see is like, why do I, why, why am I putting myself on this? And I keep going around and around with what you need to focus on is going to the sea is I feel like you need to release something. There's something that you need to let go of. There's something that you have to, um, I always feel like to the sea, I feel like to me, when I see that card, it represents tears, it rep represents release, it represents letting go. It's kind of taking that time to yourself, like in her wings are down. So she's like, she's not ready to take flight, but like, she's like sitting still in this boat, even though she could easily use her wings and fly away. <clears throat> but it's like she's taking this time to look within to, to find answers and to release um and let something go and there's many different ways to do that like you can get a journal um I actually got um actually I was looking through you'd be surprised what you have <laughs> I know I am sometimes and I was looking through my stuff and I found this cute little book um this cute little um it's just it's just blank pages that I had purchased and it's all different colors and I found it and a way of releasing is using a journal and writing things down it doesn't mean that you have to have tears it doesn't mean that you have to 
<coughs> sorry, <clears throat> it doesn't mean that you have to have tears or you have to be sad or it can just, uh, journaling uh, or is a way of release, you know, getting your feelings out, getting your, so that could be a way of release. Um, so there's many different ways to have that release. So I feel like that's what you need to focus on. That's what you need to deal with. Um, that's, that is what will help you to move away. Sorry, I have hiccups. That is what will help you to move away from that round and round energy and to help things to flow better for you, for your mind creativity, creatively. Um, what you're leaving behind, we have soulmates, but I almost feel like it's, I kind of feel like it's, it's an old patterns, it's an old way of thinking, and it's a previous way of thinking how you are going to be happy. Um, thinking that it can only happen one way, but I feel like it's, you can find happiness in other things. <coughs> Finding happiness in different ways. Sorry, I'm still fighting my cold. I'm getting better, but it's still, it's going to take a little while longer. Um, your strengths, we have flexible, but I, but I feel like it's, you're able to go in different directions and you're able to, to bend and you're able to be flexible and you're able to look at things from a different perspective. But it's like once you move away from the round and round, right? It's once you move away from that constantly going around in the same circle and then you're like, you know what? Let me try this path. Let me try that path. Let me, because when you have that freedom of expression, I feel like you're more open to different ways of approaching things or having things happen. In the near future, I feel like you're you, you start to live in the moment. You're not living in the past. You're not worrying about the future, but you're living in the moment and you're appreciating each day. <coughs> and you're excited for each day. And that's the best thing is being excited for each day. Seeing what each day has to bring you. Not letting things bother you. Um, the other day or yesterday, I think it was yesterday. Was it yesterday or was it the day before? But I was really not feeling good and Lexi was throwing up and Gertrude had diarrhea and I didn't get angry. Like the old me would have got irritated and angry and would have been like, what, like, why is this happening to me? Like, I'm already not feeling bad. And this is not that they're like, they wanted to not feel good, but I just looked at it as like, okay, like we're a hot mess over here and we're all not feeling good together and that's okay. And, you know, we just curled up on the couch in a comfortable blanket and, and we just enjoyed our day. And that's how I wanted to look at it. That's how I want to look at it because, <coughs> yeah, that's my day. But it's like, am I going to look at this being angry and frustrated and saying, why are all these things happen to me? Or am I going to look at it as, okay, this is the way it is. So we're all going to get cozy on the, on the couch and this is what we're, this is, you know, we're just going to work our way through this and I feel like it that's how you are is like you're living in the moment and you're saying okay this is what it is so how can I make the best of it whatever's going on enjoy whatever is positive going on and just work through whatever negative may be going on advice exchanging gifts giving that gift to yourself as to saying I'm not going to let my myself be frustrated and I feel like it's it's what can you do to give that gift to yourself and I feel that that's very important is to looking out for yourself and nurturing yourself and doing that self-care for yourself. The environment is message in a bottle and inside the bottle we have a telephone. So I feel like it's, there's a message that's trying to get through to you is for you to enjoy the moment and to not go around and around and try and make things happen that, are, that, that don't seem to be working at this moment or ever but seeing the reality of a situation and regenerating yourself, right? Having that flow and move outing, moving out of a situation that you feel uncomfortable with, but moving towards and reforming yourself and giving yourself new life. <coughs> we have the hopes and fears. We have Treasure Island. Is you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to come your way. You never know what's right around the corner. And 
we have this treasure which is on the turtle's back which is like which i feel like is that slow moving but it's, it's this the treasure is moving towards you these rewards these gifts but it's like it doesn't have to be something that's that's physical it could just be that like i said it could just be that mental state of mind that you're in that that's a gift that's a treasure to yourself because it's like that's how do you handle the difficult situations how do you compartmentalize that frustration and that anger? How do you put that kind of to the side and focus on other things? And how, how do you see that? Um, and I was watching a video from Lila Hormozzi and she was saying how she kind of sees the negativity as fish and in her mind, like that negativity. And then she sees it as fish swimming in a pond. And then what she does is she you know, she, um, she, she was a little, she takes the knife and then she like stabs the fish or, you know, she removes the fish from the pond, right? Because like, she has all this positive fishes floating around, swimming around, but then she has this negative fish in the water. For her, that's what works. And finding out what works for you, how can you visualize that negativity? How can you visualize that round and round energy and visualize it? And how do you visualize removing it and getting rid of it, right? to the sea, how do you remove that and get rid of that, you know? And I feel like that is a treasure in itself and saying, okay, when I get in this moment, this is how I'm gonna visualize it. And this is how I'm going to work through it. When I was, I had two boys and I had a natural childbirth. And when I was in labor um, for my, I think it was my first one, I visualized when I was going through a um, contraction, I visualized it as a, as a ship and it was going up, it was in the ocean and it was going up a wave and then it was going across a wave and then down a wave. And that's how I was able to work my way through the contractions is that was a visualization for me. And then for my second one, it was a train and it was the train was going up a mountain, across a mountain, and then down a mountain. And so I was able to focus on that train when I was in so much pain. And that's what helped me get through it. So I kind of feel like that's the same thing here for here. It's for you to find that visualization or that way for you to deal with this energy. We have the potential outcome is coming to the edge, chaos and conflict that when we have this chaos and conflict and then we, we have this feeling of uncomfortableness and we feel like we're coming to the edge of something, but it's like, it's that uncomfortable feeling, but it's like things need to be stirred up. Things needs to be rearranged. Things like this, the lava here, and it's like, it needs to flow and it needs to let go. And I almost feel like when you're in that energy of feeling really uncomfortable, that's when I feel change is happening for you. When you feel like, this feels so different. This feels so odd. I feel something inside of me that something is going to happen, that something is going to change. Being in touch with your body, <coughs> being in touch with your thoughts and saying, okay, like my mind, my body is trying to remove itself. It's trying to go with the flow. It's trying to let go of something that is not working for me because there is this blockage there. And I just feel like it's becoming more in touch with yourself and it's like coming to the edge and then, but then all of a sudden, like you're letting all of this stuff go, which she has all of these flowers behind her, these petals that she's letting go of, but she's starting something new and she's not afraid and she's feeling brave and she's like coming to the edge, but it's not affecting her. And she's just letting go of what she needs to let go of. And then she's moving towards what she wants to move towards, right? She's not sure what's going to happen when she goes over the edge but she has this confidence that it's going to be good and it's going to be positive. And it may feel uncomfortable for a little bit, but it's gonna be okay because this is the energy that she doesn't wanna to have to stay in. So I feel like it's a big progression here. And I feel like don't fight against the change. Don't fight against the progression. Don't fight against the uncomfortableness because that's what brings in new things. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people, and that's completely fine stay in the same lane that you've always been in and that you may always be in. And some people feel security in that. I mean, I definitely know people that are like that and that's fine. But for me, and I feel like Capricorn is that we're always trying to explore. We're always want to do something different. We always want that change. 
it it makes us feel unsettled but it also excites us and i feel like it's embrace that energy embrace that spirit of the capricorn and because the you know the capricorn like i always see capricorn as i mean it's a sea goat but i also feel like it's like that's what gives that's what's so cool about the capricorn is that it's it's a sea goat so it can go in water with emotions but it also can be on land so it can traverse over different areas like it, it can adapt itself to the area that it's in right if it's water or it's land and you can adapt yourself right that if you you, you imagine yourself as that seagull and you say okay i'll be fine in the water you know i'll figure it out and i'll be fine on the land right so whatever changes come your way and i almost feel like maybe that's why capricorn wants so many um like we want those challenges is because let me see how I can figure this out. Let me see how I can work through this. And don't get, get caught up in that energy of the Capricorn, the seagull, where it's like, no, I only want to be, I only want to stay in the water. But because you feel this sense of uncomfortableness because you're like, I keep going around and around in this water and, and I'm not feeling happy. I'm not feeling fulfilled. I'm not feeling like myself. And it's like, okay, now it's time for me to go on land. Just like I was saying here with the lava, I was just thinking about that. Just like I was saying with the lava, how it's like molten rock, but it starts on land and then sometimes it will go, it will go down because it just follows, right? Because it's like on a hill and it comes through and it goes down to the water, right? So it's changing within itself. So I feel like that really represents well, especially with the, like the red representing lava and then the, I was thinking of water when I saw the blue and the green. So I feel like that's something that you need to think about and that's something that you need to realize is, is adapting to that change. Like you were meant for that and you can do that and don't get yourself stuck in a certain way and to explore that and don't be afraid of it because that's when you really feel like yourself is when you're feeling challenged and you're feeling uncomfortable, but then that becomes the norm. All right, I could go on forever about that, but. I just thought it was cool about the synchronicities when all of that came together for me. <coughs> See, even that, even, even that was a pretty cool like gift for myself. It's like, oh, okay, I just realized that I was feeling the energy of the seagull when I saw this, but then it didn't come to fruition until I talked it through. And that's something for yourself too, like when you, that form of release is sometimes I'll just talk to myself, I'll talk out loud to myself. And for me, that's a way for me to work through things. And that's why I love doing tarot because it helps me talking through things and it, it helps me to figure out things too. Um, I feel like these two cards. Um, and sometimes it's just talking things through and talking to yourself. Like I'll talk to myself in the car or I'll talk to myself at home. And that's okay. Like that, that helps me. It doesn't matter what it is as long as it helps you to work through situations. We have enlightenment moving forward. I love that enlightenment. And I was thinking just like it was an enlightenment for me to realize that I was feeling the energy of the seagull when we first started this enlightenment realizations, right? And that is what helps you to move forward. Enlightenment to the fact that you're going around and around about something and you need to stop that. And you need enlightenment as, oh, okay, I realize that I just keep repeating the same patterns and I have to move away from that. I have to release and let go. And then we have choice, understanding consequences as to if I make changes or I don't make changes. If I keep going round and round, if I'm stuck, you know, like that seagull always being in the water, like feeling that sense of loss or that, that, that sense of um, not a sense of excitement. And I feel like pushing yourself is, I feel like for Capricorn, pushing yourself is, is, is what it's, it's like that thrill, right? It's that that thrill, that excitement, right? Pushing yourself not too far to where you feel uncomfortable, but like taking on the challenge. And I feel like that's what's exciting for Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn um, rising. All right, so let's get a Whispers of Healing. Let's see, I feel like this one here wanted to pop out. We have unconditional love, and I feel like that represents the love that you have for yourself and that you're looking out for yourself and you're understanding yourself, 
Who are you? What makes you happy? What drives you? What excites you? Right? What do you enjoy doing? What affects you in a negative way? What affects you in a positive way? Can you answer those questions? Right? Um, can you? I mean, a lot of people can't. And I feel like that's something that you need, you have that, to have that enlightenment, what, what drives me, right? Just ask yourself that question out loud. What makes me happy? What drives me? What motivates me? What gives me energy? What gives me life? All right, I'm going to close out with, let's, I was already grabbing this one, so let's do Angel, angel Answers. Let's do an angel answers to close this out. We have unlikely. All right. So what was your first thought when you when I pulled the unlikely? Like, where did your mind go? And I feel like kind of process that. And, and, and explore that, right? Take that time to explore that. So to me, the unlikely is it's unlikely that things are going to change if you keep staying in this round and round energy. It's unlikely that you're going to reach your goals. It's, it's unlikely that you're going to feel this sense of fulfillment within yourself if you keep going round and round and round with something. That's, that's what I felt when I felt unlikely, but you go with what you felt. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.